Hi, I'm Theron Skurlock. I'm General Manager of Artagon Marketplace, Orlando. Artagon's on North International Drive. We have created a space for 165 local artisans to come and make their goods and most importantly, sell their goods to the Orlando community, either local or tourists. And now let's head inside to meet one of our artists and I'll introduce you to their work. Welcome to Gallery International. I'm Robin Van Arsdal and this is my gallery studio. Today we have an exhibition called the Internationals. It's a group that I show with in Europe quite a bit. And we've got Ekaterina Savchenko from St. Petersburg, Russia. We've got Johan Eiffels from Iceland and also UCF. We've got Jason Horncastle who is English from England. And Linus Caraggio is my artist from New York City. I'm the US American artist. But we've got some very special pieces by Ekaterina S, as she's known. She's blonde hair, blue eyed, uh, gorgeous. And I have been in probably a dozen, maybe 15 different exhibits in the last 15 to 20 years with Ekaterina. She likes that the image is to be surrounded by light, not to be held down. She also likes to use animals like a horse or a bird. Um, she's notorious for impostic, for being thick, and she loves to scratch. So let me show you something impostic, and then let me show you something scratch. Let's take a look at Inspiration Blue. Inspiration Blue. Now, a minute ago I said that she likes to have her figures seem as though they're in space. Male, female. And she loves the concept of light. Almost all of her paintings have some kind of light versus dark kind of scenario. See how thickly they're painted? But yet, at the same time, over here, there's spots where the canvas almost comes through. If we turn and we go next door, come on. Centaurus, no scratches, very impostic. Also again, very impostic. See how the paint stands out over the top of the blue? But look at all the scratches in the tail. Oops, even down here in the bottom, the head. Look at the chest. Look at how many different colors are in here. A blue, a green, a yellow, a white, very impostic. This is very typical of her, being very impostic, and then at the moment, just whenever she wants, as the paint is still fresh, she just gets real emotional. I've traveled with her very, quite often, and I think extremely highly of her, and I love her paintings to death. That's why they're here, and I want you to enjoy them. Thank you. We're showing an exhibition called The Internationals. Right behind me are the works of Johan Eiffels, originally from Iceland. He was in the 45th Venice Biennale, representing Iceland, and was also the head of the sculpture department here in Orlando, Florida, at the University of Central Florida. These disc-looking pieces, round-looking pieces, are uh, transfer pieces. They were all done in the 70s. The picture that is the, the end product is not a picture of something, but yet is a process, the end result of a process of doing something. For example, if I took a piece of paper and I poured a little bit of gasoline on it and I lit it with a match and as it was burning I blew it out, then the image that I gave you would be the process of that activity. These pieces are similar to that. What Johan does is he makes a disc of metal where he makes the disc out of two or three or four different types of metal, aluminum, bronze, copper, and what he'll do is he'll take these discs, then take the, the cloth or the paper, which these pieces are either paper or cloth, he'll wet them and then put them on the, the uh, metal and then bury it in the ground for six months. That means they're transfers. Whatever the metal deposited onto the, to the cloth is how the image looked. So these are process pieces. Two of the things that he likes is he likes these, these almost yin and yang circles, and he also likes the X image. Those are two, that he, two of the images that he'll use in a lot of his uh, circular paper pieces. Um, he also does uh, metal discs that are pieces themselves, and almost all of his, his metal discs are not poured, but dripped, so that they have a dripped appearance. So, that's Johann Eiffel's.